Hello and welcome to my first ever Lemnus Gate gameplay breakdown. This match was taken from the beta and I'll be talking about what I did right and wrong and what my opponent did right and wrong. Let's get into it shall we? So it's still early days in finding out what the meta is, you know, what character to start with, but my opponent chooses Capitan, who is a good operative killer as well as a good objective securer. Her uh, downside is that she isn't very fast, but that isn't entirely necessary in this game mode. Anyway, Capitan secures B point and then moves to secure A. The only criticism I have is that grenade at the very end. It was thrown at my spawn, and if you think about it, it's going to be quite unlikely for any of my operatives to be there at the end of the round. So I would recommend using that grenade to actually secure one of the objectives. I throw a random mine because I might get lucky. I shoot the A point before heading to B to kill Capitan. And I make the same mistake as the Capitan actually, as I waste a little bit of time throwing the mine when I could have just been shooting rockets at the point. Remember, this is a very time critical game. You have 25 seconds, so you want to try use that time as effectively as possible. Next up is Carl, he saves his Capitan by placing a nice bubble, which ensures her survival to go on and secure B and then A. I think what I was thinking here is I wanted to get to Carl and kill him before he placed the bubble. I wasn't able to kill Carl before he placed the bubble, but I went ahead and secured the kill anyway and then went to secure the objectives. So the mistake that I made was that I was very aggressive with my Capitan. And whenever you push your operative to your opponent's side of your map, it makes it for a very easy kill for them. And this is what my opponent picks up on, he takes Deathblow and gets a really easy kill on my Capitan. But if you watch the death blow after he kills my Capitan, he moves C side, I think he places one shot on that, and then he moves to A side. This is a big waste of time. I feel he should have just stayed at point C and put more damage on that, but instead he wasted about 5 or 6 seconds moving from one half of the map to the other. Again, this game is time critical, so you need to keep that in mind. You can't waste any time. Anyway, I'm a little bit stuck. I really want to kill the death blow. I need to kill him quickly and from range as well. If I get too close, then I risk getting blown up. And I manage to spot a possible angle that I could use with Striker. One bullet can change the future. And you can see I just managed to peek him through the window. I was very scared that I wasn't going to get it, but... I managed to pull it off. So Striker is obviously very good against operatives as he can one hit kill all of them if you get them in the head, but he also does a surprising amount of damage to the objectives as well, so don't be afraid to use him on the objectives as well as killing operatives. You can see with my Striker I waste a little bit of time going from C to A, but I do damage each objective on the way. So my opponent chooses Toxin, um, does a bit of damage on some of my operatives, which is good. And just to let you know, I will be doing a video with tips and tricks and advice on how to use each of the operatives. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I'm a little unsure on who to choose here. Uh, so I go for Vendetta, as I just sort of want to lock down that objective. Place a few turrets, kill Toxin while she's there. So he is a pretty good round with Striker. He takes out my Striker, which saves his death blow. And then he moves to the A objective and kills my Vendetta. Now, you might not believe me, but I did that on purpose. I wanted the rush to run up and take the bullet so that his Striker wouldn't kill my Striker. But only after reviewing the footage and looking at this while editing, 
I realized that my striker killed Deathblow in time. So I, uh, uh, yeah, I guess it wasn't entirely necessary. But hell, it looked cool, so I'll take it. And you know, I ended up winning that half anyway. So Toxin is great for spraying her toxic matter in uh, highly congested places. I like putting her up top and I unfortunately somehow missed that teleport thing and was sort of just caught on the edge of it. And then usually once on high ground I just rain the toxic goo everywhere. Her damage output on objectives isn't great. So I think it's actually better just to put heaps of stuff on the ground to try pick up some kills in the future round. So my opponent goes Capitan, and as I said earlier, Capitan is great, has a really high damage output, so obviously at the end of the round she's able to take both the objectives. But uh, Deathblow again, because I see that she comes in through that little entrance, and I want to try Surprise her. Now just a very quick note with some of these characters, you see I shoot my fourth rocket, which prompts my character to reload. I get about halfway through the reload animation before I decide to throw another mine. Doing this though, however, uh, resets your reload animation, which means that when I reload again, it starts from the beginning. So in total, I actually reloaded one and a half times when I only needed to do it once. So instead I should have just waited for the full reload to go through and then throw the mine. And that would have been a much more effective use of my time. My opponent goes Carl and tries to use a bubble to save Capitan. After failing this he then goes to secure B point. Now what he should have done there is actually finish off my death blow and then turn to secure the B point. If he wanted to be even more fancy, he could have placed a bubble at his feet and then started to deal some damage because the cooldown on the bubble is quite low so don't be afraid that if you're going to sit somewhere as Carl, just put a bubble at your feet and that way it'll protect you in future rounds. And uh, <laughs> yeah, don't stand in front of a death blow. So I've got a pretty good advantage so far, I want to go Capitan and move to the right side. Um, and damn my grenades are bad, look at that. And if you're wondering what this is here, this is me accidentally cancelling the grenade animation. So if you're about to throw a grenade, you can shoot quickly and that will cancel uh, the actual throwing of the grenade. Anyway, I move to B point, I continue to use grenades because they have a high damage output. And try secure B. My opponent goes death blow and tries to get some kills. He gets quite close though and pushes onto my side. I think with death blow you can sit quite far back and deal quite a bit of damage from a safe range. But I think he had the right idea. Anyway, I can't let that happen, so I'm going to jump onto rush and make for an early kill on the death blow. Then once I do that, I just go to secure some points and make sure that I don't stand in front of death blow. Now my opponent decides to go Vendetta, which is a fair enough choice. Unfortunately, if you see the replay, I think she ends up killing her own death blow. I mean, he was dead anyway, but um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I go Striker in order to secure those kills. I end up shooting Deathblow and Carl anyway, because if one of my operatives doesn't get the kill, I want to ensure that another one does. So even if they kill my Striker, well, Rush is still there to take care of them. So the final round comes along, he chooses Striker and ends up killing my Rush. Now when using Striker, you should, even for easy shots, you should use the slow motion. There's really no reason not to. 
It can just make a couple of your shots a little bit easier. That was quite a decisive victory. I'm excited to get back into Lemnus Gate and I hope that you will join me in my journey. I'll probably do some more gameplay breakdowns and some other Lemnus Gate content. If you like this, please give me a subscribe and a like and a comment if you learnt anything. And I'll be seeing you in the Lemnus Gate Arena. See ya.